Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Some of you will know immediately what this is at a glance. Others, I'll have to tell you, I'll happily do so. That might give you a clue though. This is a 1936 Sears Roebuck brand circular sawmill made by Foley Bell Saw. This, uh, I believe, is about 44 feet long. The guy we got it from says it'll cut a 22 foot long tree into lumber in three minutes with the right power head. And I hope to get this in operation on the homestead here soon. Here is the original tag, Sears Roebuck & Co. But it was, uh, I looked it up and it's made by Foley Bell Saw. And some parts of this, some of the extensions are from Foley Bell Saw and is powered by a tractor, which is exactly why I got that tractor. So I've got to get that saw blade off and uh, then see if I can move this out of here. Well, guys, I uh, wish I could have recorded, but one, I didn't bring my tripod because two, I wasn't alone and so I. Uh, couldn't show you but it was pretty simple even though it's been sitting there he said since 1970 I put some penetrating oil on there oh a few days ago and uh, I got it off there's the blade sitting down for now I've got to get that off the ground but I just wanted to share with you I got it off uh, took my pipe wrench a big pipe wrench I got and a, a pipe and just gently wrenched on it and that thing came right off I am very impressed with the quality of this old old equipment that stuff is made to last for real so uh, well there it is now I'm hoping to get this home or at the commercial property, we're still talking about the future. So right now we got to go and talk and figure out what we're going to do. We're still trying to work things out. Um, there's pros and cons of each. Having it at home, of course, I have, uh, um, well, it's big. And if anybody complains, then I don't know, I have to figure things out. According to Michigan state law, I can run a mill at home. And, uh, well, there's a lot of, there's a lot of variables. If I put it over a commercial lot, I got to know that it's uh, going to be long term. So we've got to figure that out. But at least now it's ready to be transported. The wheels are not good at all, but they're old. They're going to hold their own selves up. And I'm going to have to secure that axle on better. It's not really on there. And he had propped it up with a board to keep the blade off the ground, which I'm thankful for at least. And it's been sitting here a year, I think. But it's all there. I've been turning the belts and pulleys and checking things out and going through the motions and it's all there. Well, a lot of you guys will recognize the old uh, Foley bell saw. It's very, very much like the M14 model it's, it's very very much like the m14 but i think from when i looked up the serial number this was a 1936 i remember that from a year ago when i looked this up and i saw this and i had my eye on it all that time and i wanted it so huh big plans in the works here well this will be a brief video i don't want to drag it out for you but there's my sawmill and that's got to get on over to the off-grid homestead or to the commercial lot. I'm not sure. <laughs> We're going to go and talk right now and figure out the future. There's a uh, roller table. When, uh, when the board comes off the blade, it flips over onto the roller table and rolls off out of your way. He had that set up pretty cool. I also have another roller table that uh, is available for me. So um, those other two are not mine. The red one is. Anyway, of course I can probably get them cheap, but and yeah, we'll see how it goes. There it is, guys. For now, that's it for this video. 
This is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. A new sawmill for the off-grid homestead. I think it's going somewhere and we're going to run it. Just not sure yet till tomorrow where. We got some thinking to do. Please like, subscribe, and share and follow our daily videos as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the grid on a budget. And you know having your own sawmill business Definitely going to help self-sufficiency. Talk to you later. I can't wait to see the comments tomorrow. <laughs> Look at that beast. <laughs> Good night.